child said it ain't so said it ain't so it ain't none of my business but as quiet as it kept i'm gonna speak it loud for the world to hear thank you everybody for coming over here today of chanel's 40s world where we get down we talk about celebrities or i should say we discuss celebrity issues that they're having and we make our opinions on them. okay by family Come on in the room, sit down with your favorite beverage, your favorite snack, and let's talk a little bit about this Faith Evans and Stevie J uh, debacklement. Stevie J files for divorce. Now, usually it'd be the woman that files for divorce, but hey, whatever floats your boat, whatever floats your boat. They divorcing, guys. At least that's what the that's what it say in these um outlets out here. Um, BT.com got it. We got uh, Hip Hop DX got it. We got Radar Online got it. We got The Source Magazine. We got Page Six. Woo! And we got news at Yahoo.com, child. We got news. We got news out here, honey. That Stevie J, all that line he was doing, or maybe it wasn't lying at first. I, I really don't know. Uh, but it don't look like Faith was happy for a long time. I want to say six months in before she started looking like I done made the biggest, worst mistake of my life. Because I really thought it was great editing and I thought it was just a storyline when Steve J called himself when he had his own show uh, with Joyce Hernandez. That he was just going through some changes and he was just looking for some more money and um, he was going to make it a storyline. But this joke had been in this marriage for three years solid. Okay. And that's not a long time to really be married because your first year you're in the honeymoon stage. Second year you're really getting to know your partner. The third year is whether you know you're going to be in this stuff for the long haul or you need to look for your exit out. And it seems like Stevie J chose to exit out. Now I'm telling you, he don't need to be married no more. He with Mimi for the longest. Mimi Falls. And <sighs> never married her. Okay? Never married her. With Jocelyn Hernandez. Okay? Never married her. Never married her. But Faith Evans, he gonna jump up and marry? Have no kids by at all either. But for the first two, he had kids by him. So I don't know. I don't know if it's Stevie or it's the women. Just like, child, child, child. But let's go on in to see what Yahoo News had to write up on it, on Stevie's situation. And it's Bilba Adams put out the story today. Uh, she titled it, Stevie J Files for Divorce from Faith Evans after three years of marriage. I call it service. Okay, three years of service and you bailing out already? Woe is you, Stevie. Woe is you. And you don't need to be chasing up Jocelyn Hernandez way no more. Nope, because she's with Ballistic. And she has done a lot more musically with him than he than she has ever accomplished with you, Stevie. I mean, I don't understand. She done been on show by herself. And I caught the, I think it was the second season of Jocelyn's Cabaret. <laughs> And I'm telling y'all, I got to go over to the Zeus Network. Going over to the Zeus Network, I didn't uh, pay for the streaming. My daughter paid for the streaming. And we were almost through season two. And Jocelyn is cutting up over there also. And how she can make these women into believing um, they can really do something with this stripping and pole dancing. It's beyond me. I just looked past it. And I was just looking for what Jocelyn could give me. And her interactions with her staff. Okay. And she gave me everything I was looking for. And then some. I was like what? I know Jocelyn ain't finna put her hands on this girl. Woo. But she was funny. She is still comical. I'm telling you. Jocelyn can have her show. And everybody will watch. But she ain't dead serious. She be dead serious. On you know trying to. Build up something of righteousness and make money off of it. But I'm like, she worked for Mona Scott, so Mona Scott taught her well. But, honey, now, 
Steve and Johnson just probably working together, not doing anything else. That would be hilarious. And I would watch it and I would give my opinions on it, do some reviews. And we could just be sitting here kicking and laughing and oh, getting our sides and our stomachs cramped up. Because they, they are funny people to watch. Really funny. You can't take them serious now. But funny to watch. Yes. But anyway. Going back to the story that Bibble put out, she says music producer Stephen, Stevie J, Jordan, and Evans got married in 2018 in a Las Vegas ceremony that surprised family, friends, and fans. Now, me, when I heard that, I said, Lord, whatever happened in Vegas needed to stay in Vegas, and they needed to have resided in Vegas and, and not even come out that population, that state, until they got divorced. Because uh, I knew that wasn't going to work. I just knew it, knew it, knew it in my gut. So, because Steve is the type of man that cannot be married. He is like a popper, like a rolling stone. Uh, he cannot be with one woman after, you know, a series of months or even years. It's just not in his DNA. You know how you just know people that they fit well, they um going to be doing well and be solidified in marriage life or in a relationship. Then you have those that they just love women. They just love men and they can't they just can't function with having one woman or one man at a time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they can, you know, not be like pragmatic. When you just be cheating on folks. But you know like I'm saying. They can only date a person for a certain amount of time. And then they just got to have another flavor. And to me that's just how uh, Stevie J is. He can't commit. He could commit to the time that he's spending with you right then and there. But to sit and. I don't know it's just weird. I don't know why I even get. He's the one that made the uh, mistake in a relationship. And that's why he's bailing out. And I could be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong, y'all. It could have been faith. I just want to pause right there because I want <laughs> I want to get some laughter. That you know, it could have been faith, right? She could have been not doing what she was supposed to have been doing. But then again, it could have been Jocelyn. But Jocelyn was doing everything she's supposed to do. She wanted to just be the Puerto Rican princess and blow up. She wasn't cheating on Stevie, okay? But and I really don't think Faith was either. But giving him the benefit of the doubt, we'll just say maybe 1% that Faith stepped out and he just couldn't deal with it. So he bowed out. Maybe that's what it is. Okay? Because right now, we're only hearing from Stevie J. Stevie. Stevie. That's what George was okay. Not Stevie, but Stevie. Stevie. She used to kill me with that. But anyway, not literally, but she used to give me the chuckles. But going back to the article, it says, um, Music producer Stephen J has filed for a divorce from his wife of three years, singer Faith Evans. The couple was married in July 2018 in their Las Vegas hotel room in a surprise ceremony that shocked their friends, family, and fans. <laughs> and I'm like, hell, they shot the shit out of uh, the naysayers as well. Because I just like, what? Stevie? He couldn't marry Mimi. He couldn't marry Jocelyn. But he's going to marry Faith. Biggest friend. He was big. He was friends with Biggie. So he just decided to marry Biggie's old lady. Okay. Oh, and that was talked about also in the news when that happened. But going back to the article. Stevens. Stevie J. Jordan was one of the popular in-house producers and writers for Bad Boy Records in the mid-1990s. He produced several songs for Evans, including a remix for her hit 1995 single, Soon As I Get Home. Soon as I get home, I may get up to you. Baby, I do what I gotta do. Yes, I didn't know Stephen made that song. I liked that song. 
I did. It was like maybe a 7 on my radar at the time. But moving on from there, it says, according to TMZ, Jordan filed the documents at Los Angeles County Superior Court. The gossip site is unclear whether or not the couple had a prenup. And I'm like, mm, Stevie J ain't had no money. Stevie J ain't had no money. And I ain't going to try to count Faye Pockets or her purse. But I'm sure she knew what kind of guy she was getting involved with. And what little or a lot of money she had. She wasn't going to let Stevie get a hold of it. So nine times out of ten. I'm pretty sure she did her due diligence and sealed the deal where whatever Stevie came in, he's going to leave with whatever he came in with. <laughs> and he's not going to capitalize on my hard-earned money and my family's hard-earned money. Okay, and she probably happy to pay child support for um, Bonnie Bella and um, Mimi's daughter. And both them children look just like him, so he couldn't deny them. He could not deny them if he wanted to. But going back to the article, in May of 2020, Evans was arrested in Los Angeles for felony domestic violence against Jordan. Oh, Lord, she whooping his behind. Woo, she, oh, Lord. See what I'm saying? Faye don't be, don't be having that big and tall her well. Okay, but she still don't need to be putting the paws on nobody. You can't keep your paws off people then you don't need to be with that person because they shouldn't do anything to you that requires you to put paws on them okay so faith you were wrong but like i said they reported it um <laughs> faith was arrested for putting the paws on uh jordan according to tmz report law enforcement arrived at the couple's home and found jordan with visible marks and scratches the pair's marriage came as a surprise to their respective fans as stevie j had spent years as a cast member on love and hip-hop atlanta where he shared aspects of his love lives with mimi foss and jocelyn hernandez two of the mother of his children he and hernandez had their own spinoff show in 2016 and they had a daughter bunny bella in december 2017 and i'm telling you when they hooked up together on a tv show it was magic it was pure magic comedy ratchetness drama and the ratings went through the roof everybody was sitting there or oh, i shouldn't say everybody i want to generalize but the majority of people that really liked it joyce and hernandez and they just couldn't get enough of stevie uh, as far as his com comical side that he had that everybody loved okay especially that that smile he did child please hilarious okay going back to the article it said jordan has six children and evans has four including a son christopher wallace jr with her late husband rap icon the notorious big as report previously reported in late 2019 jordan and evans dispelled rumors that their marriage was ending after a series of cryptic tweets including one that read found out that no woman is faithful Okay, and that was on Stevie J's Instagram account. He was just going off, sounding off. And like I said, you know, it may be a twist of fate that Faye may be, you know, acting all crazy with the domestic hands and stuff. And I don't know. Shoot, she might have called Stevie and went postal ham or whatever. Maybe he was getting too friendly with somebody. We never know. We never know. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, um... As previously reported in late 2019, Jordan and Evans, uh, okay, they dispelled cryptic tweets that were being put out by both parties on their said social media platforms. <coughs> uh, it goes on to say, uh, knew that, and it's a blessing to know. The tweets were later deleted, and Stevie J claims his Twitter account was hacked. No, nah, his Twitter account wasn't hacked. And we don't believe anybody when they say that, when they know they done did wrong. Okay? But anyway, um, in 2016, interview with The Breakfast Club, he had confirmed his relationship with Evan, saying, I've known her for almost 25 years. It wasn't like that at first, he added. We were all family, and then as years progressed, we began to hang out more, talk more. I shouldn't have crossed that line, because once you cross that line, emotions really overwhelm me and her. 
once you start dating your best friend is different and yes you should know better than that stevie because you know that's a true telltale sign when your best friends your good friends y'all never cross the line when you go and start looking at that person in a sexual and romantic way and you cross that line and things don't play out then you don't have your good friend no more you don't see them as that you see them as a has-been of what life was when it was good but when you mix that romanticism in there and the sexual twists and turns that you all may partake of no friendship is just gone and maybe with growth with time you may can get back to that point if y'all really wanted that but it would just be so much going back and forth of well if we were that good together and we were that good as friends why couldn't we make it work why we didn't fight for it? and you know some things you just can't get over some things you just can't get through uh with the different aspects of dealing with you know your partner and their ways because you can only control what you can control on yourself you can't fight or try to control somebody else's actions that's not your job everybody's supposed to be in one with themselves and act you know accordingly as a an adult a rational adult and do things you know for the good of the relationship but um i don't know what steve could have done i don't know I find it very odd that he would be the one because most of the time it usually is women filing for the divorce versus men but when you find a man that's going ho about ending his marriage and going on and filling out the paperwork knowing that in and everybody could see it and all be telling and stuff you know nothing really stays secret especially if it's done in the open you know but if it's no harm no foul it doesn't matter you know i'm pretty sure it's going to be irreconcilable differences or something to that effect when no party is blamed it's just we couldn't live together anymore and if we did one of us wouldn't be here <laughs> to live out you know the life that god wanted you to live out until he calls you home so it might have been one of those type of situations who knows but that's all i have for this particular video y'all get down in those comments y'all let me know if y'all care to to tell me what y'all felt about stevie j filing from divorce okay who he gonna go mess with is he gonna go mess with um mimi but she seems to be in a happy relationship with a female and and turning up and, and living well jocelyn seems to be uh happy with her ballistic beats whatever his name is uh out there in where is she i don't know she might be in la it might be las vegas i know she was trying to do that um cabaret season two out in las vegas trying to um have that residency out there where she can make more money off those women almost like she's pimping them out but you know who's to say who's to say what jocelyn is doing i just know she's very comical to watch and get your laughs on and stuff like that. i don't know if she mean to be comical because she wants to be an artist she wants to be um known for her talent in the music industry i don't think she wants to be known as a comedian but she just you know she gives me a laugh every time i see her <laughs> every time i see her girl but anyway that's all i have for this particular video if you like it love it gotta have more don't hesitate to continue to watch my videos continue to share them and like them okay that's all the ways you can help me continue to grow my channel all right but i will see y'all next time and y'all keep it breezy Bye-bye.